Howdy everybody, this is Bake with IronThroneCraft.com. Today we are going to talk about how to look up the percentages of what you get out of chests. And this is applying right now because there's been a lot of questions in the line channel about what you can get from these chests from this, these packs that are out right now, which are the uh, fun and safety special chests in all caps. And so there's a lot of good stuff that comes out of these chests, but everybody's saying, you know, how likely am I going to get this? How, how, you know, how do I know what comes out of these things? And you can't see it in the pack store. So you, you know, you did get some free ones, number one. So there are some free fun and safety special chests that you got. I think you like 15, 20 of them, something like that. Uh, so if you don't buy them, then yeah, there's the free 15 here. So I'm going to open these 15 and you see, I got some revival herbs and some resources. Oh, no, never mind. That wasn't it. I clicked the wrong button. Uh, this is the fun and safety. So you see some training speeds, uh, magic stone, grade six outcry equipment chest, which is pretty good. March speed ups, whole bunch of food, that kind of stuff. And so, you know, if you see this right here, you might be like, eh, I don't know if I really want to, these, you know, these chests. But one way to find out and look and see what actually comes out of every chest in the game, not just those ones, but every single chest in the game, you have to go into help in the settings, and then you go down to rates. And you see these rates right here? These rates show you the percentage likelihood of getting different things out of different chests for every single chest that has come out. So whenever you see a new chest in a pack, you want to know if you want to buy it or not, go here, look at the rates. So you see this, you got 5% chance to get all of these things out of there. And this is per chest open also. So it doesn't mean if you buy 100 chests, you're going to get five of each one of those things. You know, or, you know, five food or wood or stone. But there's a whole bunch of things that could possibly come out of this chest. So you're a lot less likely to get some of the good stuff. But some of the good stuff that can come out of here is really damn good. So there's magic stones, everything else like that. You see the grade 6 equipment chests, 0.5% chance. If you got a bunch of chests, you're going to get a, you know, you're going to get a few of those. Now you can get grade 6 crimson chests as well. You see that that's 0.4% chance. Uh, you get some sulfur 600% boosts or 0.2% chance, but that'd still be awesome to pull some of those. Radiant Lord Material Chests. And then the, here's the big one right here. If you scroll down to the very bottom, see the 0.02% right there? You can get a Death Knight pet, or you can get a Grade 6 plus 20 equipment chest too. And that's a big deal. Like, if you were to pull one of those, that is a very large deal. Like, you see, you only got a 0.02% chance to get it, but if you have a whole bunch of those chests, you know, there's, that's not terrible. I mean, the 0.02 is pretty bad. Let's be honest, but it is what it is. So <clears throat> I skipped ahead a little bit because I went and uh, bought some of these chests. You see, now I've got 101 of the chests. Maybe we'll see what I get out of these 101 and see if the percentages kind of line up. See the March speeds, a whole lot of uh, resources, silver, wood, speed ups, pet summoning scrolls, couple of the grade six equipment chests. I got a slaughter, an outcry, a, majest a majestic, and some of the radiant lore material chests times seven. So you see that the, the the percentages kind of line up from what we looked at in help and then what we got out of the chests. It kind of lines up. I didn't get any of the, you know, no Death Knight pet, no uh, level 20 gear. And that's, you know, you're not very likely to get it. And I only, I only bought 100 chests there also. So you just got to keep that in mind that you do have the chance to get really, really good things out of this new chest over here. Like there's, that's, that's a possibility. Um, but it's it's a lot lower than getting some of these grade six equipment chests and everything like that. But as you see, I go through, open them up, get that stuff, and it is what it is. Now, uh, some people were asking grade six equipment chest times you know level two. What does that mean? Does that mean that you're going to get level twenty destroyer gear or champion gear or anything else like that? The answer is no. You can get some of the new stuff. But the other answer is like we talked about before. You go back to help, scroll down through the bro boxes, and you can find. That this grade six equipment chest, I'm looking at the uh, fun and safety or whatever one again. So you see 0.02% chance to get a grade six plus 20 equipment chest. That's the one we want out of this. And so if you did, for example, buy a whole crap load of these boxes, what could you expect to get out of that chest if you got that chest? You scroll up and you see, as I said, every chest in the game is there. So grade six plus 20 equipment chest two. There you go. You have a chance to get slaughter. Outcry, Agility, Majestic, blah, blah, blah. 3.5% chance. But you have a 2% chance to get all of the Crimson gear. There's no Crimson Steel gear. But you have a 2% chance to get all of the Crimson gear as well. So that's actually not that much worse than getting the other ones. A 2% chance versus a 3.5% chance. That's pretty close. It's not like 
it's not like the uh, the first the fun and safety special chest where you, it's a 0.02 percent chance. Like you have a de decent chance of pulling a crimson gear out of if you happen to be lucky and get that chest. So it is what it is, and it would be level 20 also, which is a big deal. Uh, so now I'm, I got I, I wanted to see what the uh, crimson steel drop rates were. You can see that judging by the rates, you're gonna have a hard time getting crimson steel earrings. That's gonna be the hard material, and so. Whenever new gear comes out, you can go and you can look at the gear in the forge, or you can go look at the chests, and you can kind of guess which ones you're going to want to be uh, focusing on, and that one's going to be crimson steel earrings. So, quick and easy. There's a lot of stuff in that help thing. If you want to find out more about chests, check those before you buy stuff. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that stuff.